hello everyone my name is Benjamin and welcome back to Blabend solutions so in today's video I will be walking you guys through a step-by-step -step process with no steps skipped on how to create this wonderful detergent label but before I can start with the video please kindly do me this favor kindly pause whatever you're doing and uh, hit on the like button for me please I'm begging you please yeah go go ahead and hit on the like button for me all right thank you so much for doing that i really appreciate it a lot and uh if this is your first time of being in here this is blabbing solutions and we are into the production of graphic design video tutorial so if you think videos of this nature would be of great benefits to you then i encourage you to hit on the subscribe button and check the notifications bell to call and be the first person to receive with our notifications whenever we release new videos if you've already done that thank you so much for showing up once again let's quickly jump right into the video and let's begin so in front of you uh, we have the resource files that I'll be using I have a basket full of uh, detergent and the, you can see a car being washed and the other stuffs as well and these are my text files that I'll be using for the design process these these are the text files so uh, Quickly, let's jump right into Photoshop and let's continue. So, as we always do, first first thing to do is always come to the file tab, click on New, and let's choose a size that we would want to work with. But before, let me name this. All right. So, uh, with the size, I'll be working in inches. So, with the size, uh, I'm actually creating this file as well, uh, this label. Sorry, yeah, this label for. Uh, a five liter gallon so uh, depending on the gallon that I was showed or I have here the width is 5.5 inches and that of the height six inches so there is what I have and please remember anytime you would want to print uh, the R design the color mode should be made what CMYK okay but for this one uh, it's for uh, tutorial 6 so I'm not going to be printing this so I'll be leaving this in RGB mode then I'm going to hit on create alright so first thing first the first thing I'm going to be doing here is to work on the background then uh, maybe continue with the other steps that I need to do so uh, with the background I'm going to create a solid color here by coming to the adjustment fill and click on the solid color so uh, in here I'm going to be using a blue a bluish color something this way uh, I think well this looks okay uh, well then let's hit on okay then I'm going to be creating a new layer on top of this guy with my brush to selected I'm going to be increasing the size of the brush to using the close square bracket on my keyboard then I have something this way then uh, let me choose a color that I think best suits this guy uh, a brighter color yeah a brighter color you know uh, well I guess this will do so let's try it and see if it works if it doesn't we change it <sighs> okay this looks a bit um, well okay I think I'll go with this color then uh, let's select our move to so what I'm going to do next is to uh, quickly import one of my files let's well let me use the two and let's see which one looks good so let me hold hold the alt key and let's drag this guy out in here this way hit enter and let's do same for this guy as well by holding your alt key and let's drag this guy out. so we'll be turning one off the layer of one off and let's work with the first one and see if it works so let's go to our blending mode or let me say our blending options in here and let's choose uh, something you know uh, multiply well all right so let me choose multiply for this so let me turn the visibility here off and let's use this one as well and see uh, let's change the blending mode and let's see which one works best then we can quickly go with this well, I think this guy looks good as compared to uh, chairman here I think so let me let's choose color pen and let's see if this one works well 
the event color event yeah so they both they both work well in here so uh well depending on which one you think works well for you you can choose any so uh let me uh, turn this one uh off so it's already off so let's group the these layers and name them as a uh, name it as the background control j to group this guy don't don't worry about my spelling and uh, now now that we've had the background looking good the next thing we're going to do is to uh bring in our images so first of all i'm going to create a solid uh, this circular shape using the ellipse too so i'm going to hold the shift key and draw this guy over here um, i need a border line, a border color of white uh, yeah. let me take it to six and i think six is okay yeah and then uh, let me put this guy right here so let me go in to my resource page and uh, bring this guy the floor floor so we would clip max this image on top of the ellipse okay so let's hit enter right click this guy this way and let's say create clipping mask ctrl t with the same layer selected let's scale this to uh, a size that will fit well so we can see uh, almost every part clearly okay so uh, i guess this looks good so that is it for the uh, clipping mask now let me uh, quickly bring uh, the two this guy and this guy right okay so um but uh looking at these images well they are cool but i would want to create some effect some effect beneath here so it looks as if they, they they've thrown a shadow on the background okay making it look a bit real so um i'm going to create a new layer on top of these grouped items then with my brush to selected i'm going to be choosing let me say a darker color reduce the size of my brush and just click somewhere this way and uh, you know select my move to control t to transform this guy so i'm just shifting this guy back down here so Alright, so I'm going to be putting this guy here. Let me bring them. Let me bring it down. Right. Alright, so this is how I want it to look like. Yeah. Then uh, the next thing that I would want to do is to quickly work on the name of the uh, product key. So this should come on top of the items. Let's create a new layer an empty new layer then with my pen to selected okay with my pen to selected okay this is my pen to I'm going to create something round okay so in a curve like manner so uh, let's click one point then let's click the other so when clicking make sure you don't leave so what you've clicked the first point now when you click here do not take off your hand just drag sorry so just so click here and let's click and drag this guy this way all right so uh with this arc here i'm going to select the move to but before let me hit on the click on the alt key and let's click on this icon point and let's get rid of that uh point so with my move to selected i can come in here select my type to and i can type on the path okay so uh let's click here this way and i'm going to type a no okay good uh, i'm going to change the font to kenyan coffee coffee regular i guess then let's make this cups or cups change the color from this to uh, something <laughs> okay so let's maintain the red color i guess 
the red color will do the red color will do all right so uh let me close up the text spacing all right so uh this is in, this this is how i want it to be but well uh a bit like so control t and let's kill this and make it huge 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 huge, huge. All right, so uh, you realize it is facing the other side. So with our type two selected, we can make edit to this guy by shifting them up a bit. Then maybe let me see if we can use the uh, selection to to uh, drag this guy a bit. You know, yeah. So okay so then i'm going to be applying a stroke to this guy over here so let's come to add layer style let's choose stroke and uh, let's add a white stroke to it but let's increase the size to something that i think we would like so i guess 15 is okay so depending on what you see if you think you like it then maybe we can go with it okay so let's click on okay and uh, this looks not so good but we would take it as it as it is and uh, let's add a shadow let's add a drop shadow to this guy so back to our add layer style and let's choose drop shadow um, that's so big that's so big so let's decrease the size of the shadow okay great so uh, let's click OK and in here uh, I'm going to be duplicating this style okay and uh so alt hold your alt key and let's duplicate this guy let's duplicate this guy and i'm going to be typing power zone power zone with it power zone with it but with this one i'm going to decrease the font size to something small okay and uh, that of the stroke uh to let's say half of maybe we can actually change this stroke to red and maybe change the font color to white okay to make things uh, look okay all right so there we have it then i'm going to work on the rotation so this should look this way <laughs> uh, maybe I can choose to space out it I think the size is still big so we can put this guy over here this way and uh, this looks okay now i am going to duplicate the same thing here up here and i'm going to be typing uh, thick bleach all right so uh and let's reduce the size as well once again once again once again pretty and uh, let's you know rotate this guy then uh there's this shape that i've i created over here that's the shape so i'm going to bring the shape um, i just need one of this guy so with let me take this guy one, one of, so i'm going to be placing this guy over here this way Control t unless let me scale it a bit All right, so uh, let me duplicate this guy and type new in here. So it should be on top of my friend. All right, so new. All 
right so uh all new thick bleach and okay parazo that 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 is what we have in here so what i'm going to do is to group everything that i just did right now so um with the first layer selected hold g uh, shift key to select the last layer ctrl g to group them and i'm going to say this is the uh, front text so with that of the items i'm going to drop these guys down a bit all right let me let me scale these guys small all right so now we have this looking nice over here that, then uh, i have some other text that i would want to type in here so um let me quickly do that and i'll get back to you guys in a short while okay so all right see you soon all right guys so welcome back so as you can see i just did a typing of this text so we are saying it kills gems destroys other and removes 99.9 .9 stains uh this is the volume content five liters and we are saying keep always keep ghana clean or keep your country clean and uh, for bulk purchases you know you have to call this content for that and uh, this brings us to the end of our video tutorial i believe you've learned something in here if you did please do want to give this video a thumbs up by liking the video uh and consider becoming part of this family by subscribing and also checking the notification bell icon to all so as to be the first person to receive notifications whenever i drop new videos so in my next video i will be showing you guys how uh, i created the mock-up of this label onto the five liter gallon so do all to stay tuned and watch that video as well and uh, until i come away next time this is still blabbing solutions and see you in my next video I'm out.